Welcome back, Tough Kid Nation, to day four of five videos in five days. Today we do Tough Kid commercials. When it came to our TV commercials, I got one word for you, earworm. Our commercials were happy jingles that you simply couldn't get out of your head. Here's Choo Choo Charlie. Once upon a time there was an engineer. Choo Choo Charlie was his name we hear. He had an engine and he sure had fun. He couldn't plant any candy to make his train run. Charlie says, what am I going to plant Charlie says, really rings the bell. The jolly nature of the commercial reflected the greater society of the 1970s. I mean, we were the generation that had an inclusive rainbow that carried no other purpose other than optimism. We expressed ourselves through soft earth tones in our music, our homes, our clothing. The have a nice day symbol, which today we call a meme, was everywhere. Want to hear some more happy earworm stuff? Then here we go. A is for apple, J is for jack, cinnamon toast, the apple jack. You need a good breakfast, that's a fact. Starting off with apple jack. Apple jack, apple jack. There's a real apple jack for your pack. Apple tasty, crunchy too. Kellogg's apple jacks. Apple jacks, apple jacks. Apple jack cereal from Kellogg's. Part of your good breakfast. Apple jacks. Our commercials reflected our rugged, independent lifestyle. Nothing epitomized the tough kid generation better than the marketing genius behind Come to the Honeycomb Hideout. This is some real zeitgeist stuff. We all had our hideouts from adults, forts we built, and this serial commercial taps into that sense of freedom. Come to the Honeycomb Hideout. I'm Big Betty the Blind Bomber, and I want a big cereal. Honeycomb's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Honeycomb's got a big, big bite, big, big taste, and a big, big, big bite. Right. A good breakfast featuring post honeycomb cereal gives you a big, big bite. It tastes right. Honeycomb, honeycomb bite. Oh my God, they fell down. I hope they're okay, said every parent. Never. You want to hear some more happy singing and dancing? Here you go. Here's the fig guy. We love this commercial. Hi, gang. <laughs> big fig here with that great new dance, the Newton. <laughs> Hit it, Hal. Gooey, gooey, rich and chewy inside. Sold and flaky, tender, cakey outside. Wrap the inside and the outside. Is it good? John Tootin's doing the big gooey fig. You know you get the tricky part. The big gooey fig. You know one more time. The big fig. No time. And here's the part that's most interesting. Look at some of these comments on YouTube. I can't remember half my passwords, but I know every word to this jingle. I woke up from tonsil surgery and saw this playing on TV in the hospital. A surreal memory I'll never forget. Whenever I watch this, it's Saturday morning in my mind again with Scooby-Doo, Josie and the Pussycats, and Super Friends. This popped to my head at 3 a.m. I remembered all the lyrics, laughing out loud. And that's good advertisement there to remember it after 50 years. And now for the most iconic 1970s commercial of all time that simply represented the joy of being a human being. I drink Dr. Pepper, don't you see? Because it's the perfect taste for me. That original taste, you know. is making peppers everywhere I go. Peppers, 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 good looking peppers. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Us peppers are an interesting breed. An original taste is what we need. Ask any pepper and he'll say, Only Dr. Pepper tastes that way. There's carrying peppers, marrying peppers, dying peppers, quiet peppers. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Here are the first few comments. They don't make commercials like this anymore. This commercial was very special. Happier times in America. Unlike modern commercials, this one is actually classy and charming. Well, guess what? We're going to show you a commercial from today with people singing and dancing. And you do a little compare and contrast on your own. 
I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take one daily Jardians. At each day start. works 24-7 in your body to flush out some sugar. And for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease, Jardians can lower the risk of cardiovascular death, too. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have... Are you shitting me? symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis. No wonder Saturday Night Live did a skit and a parody just mocking the living hell out of this commercial. Well, you know what? Let's go to the comment section and see what people from this generation think of their own commercials. The way they casually mention that the pill may cause gangrene on your taint as if it was a nosebleed. Side effects in drug commercials are always lengthy and horrifying. My father passed away and at his viewing, this commercial came on, and he rose from his casket and turned off the TV. Thank you, Jardians. You gave me one more moment with my father <laughs> before we bury him. <laughs> Jardians works by making it impossible for you to afford other food. That little pill with the big story to tell also comes with a big price tag to tell. $600 per month. There's times that I absolutely despise the advertising industry. This is one of those times. This is just a couple of comments. Compare that to Dr. Pepper and Fig Newton. Which generation would you want to grow up in? Before we wrap this up, it's important that you see this data right here. The top 10 national TV advertising spenders. Three of the five of the pharmaceutical industry. Can you say over-medicated nation? As always, Tough Kid Nation, please like, subscribe, and share our videos. You know, smash that like button. It all helps out in the end. We do appreciate it. And I'm going to try my best. Tomorrow's Halloween, and I'm going to try my best to get five videos in five days. But I'm being honest with you, it's not looking good. I'm really tired right now. I'm going to go downstairs and watch the World Series and get a good night's sleep. So always remember that back is the way forward, and we'll see you back here when we see you back here. God bless you all. Take care.